Hello, this is J Dog John Carsaboom. You are watching The Garden Corner Show. It is a show. I'm out here, it's along the road. Cars are passing by and looking what's going on, what's going on. And you get the inside story, comfort your own home, just watching the show. We're passionate about everything guarding and we are very, very real. Hey, I wanted to give you an update on our project going on in the botanical garden. So we first made that one column, right? I ma we made that video, you saw that. We made the column. As you can see, we've been busy making all the columns here. And I wanted to kind of make a po uh, to point out that not, when you're doing a special project, that it's great if things work really, really well, slick and easy, boom, you're done. But in most of the garden projects I do, there's always a catch, something that really throws you for a loop. But if I can do, if I can say anything, is, is to, uh, words of encouragement. If you, um, um, think it through, there are ways around it. Let me show you, this is what I mean. So, we built this column, right? Now, the columns, while they're all the same, they have five, five column pieces, is that they're on different levels here. I don't know if you can see that, Mr. Dave. By the way, Mr. Dave, how are you? You doing good? Doing good? It's our new year, 2010. We're all very excited. Uh, we want to show kind of progress going on around here. Uh, the, so you see the two different levels. And so we have to accommodate for that. And I've got to cut this column to be even with the next column over. So I've got to cut it a certain, a couple inches off. Now, so let me show you how to, how to cut this column. So, now, I figured out on this table saw, and I'm using a masonry blade, by the way, as you can see here. It's not, you know, nothing to cut uh, wood wood with. It, it, it says, it kind of looks like a, just a really gritty, dull blade, but it, it, it's particularly for, for masonry, for, for any concrete work. Now, just to go over, because it's really easy to cut, but my thought process is, well, how do I cut this? Because we can take a, a saw, you know, a, a type of skill saw, this is a worm drive saw, and cut it that way. And our difficulty was, well, you, you cut it around and around and around, but on, if you cut it all the way around and you don't quite meet, meet up to the end, so it's kind of a little bit off. So that was an issue, and we tried, well, what about a reciprocal saw, you know, a blade that goes like this, and cut it that way. The blades aren't long enough. So some thought processes, and, and anyway, we found a quick, easy way to do it. Let me show you real quick. It just makes a whole bunch of dust and a bunch of noise, but let me, let me get you started. Voila, there you have it. So that's one cut there. Let's stick it on the post and, s oh, should we go to the next, uh, to the, okay. Uh, well, here, so what we're gonna do, and then we'll put it down. You notice this one's been cut low, so then we got another one, another one, another one, another one. Now we need that, uh, we've got that top piece and we need that plate. So again, over here, I'll show you. So the plate is made out for a th almost a four inch square. So if you take a four by four post, try to stick it in there, it doesn't quite go in there. So I have to cut that out in the square. So it could, it's probably made for a steel post. The only problem is, is if, this, if the post was perfectly in the middle, it would work great. But uh, you know, the post sometimes isn't, it, 
perfectly in the middle, so I'm going to cut out a little bit larger square on that just so I have room to maneuver. Now, again, uh, um, I'll, I'll do it real easy with the saw, but the thinking process, it took a while because I tried it with the uh, chisel and boom, you know, the thing breaks. So, and I thought, well, do I do it with the chop saw? And didn't quite, the chop saw was a great idea. I set up the blade, but then uh, it, the blade didn't actually reach the thing. And I thought, well, you know what? I'll do it one of the reciprocal saws, like uh, like this. And I thought, oh, reciprocal saw it through with a with a masonry blade, but that didn't quite work. So it came down to a worm drive saw, kind of a worm drive skill saw. Now I'm just going to cut this because I cut out a lot of them before, so this just makes an easy square and. You know, this worm drive, which is a really great investment, by the way, because it's just a really tough, uh, tough, easy saw. Um, I tried it with a skill saw and a battery-operated saw, but this just doesn't have enough ump, and the worm drive has a lot more um, power to, to run that through. So what I'm going to do is exactly what they probably don't say not to do in the manual, is I'm just going to put that masonry blade right down and cut into it. Of course, it would help. Again, if I get some electricity. So let's do that. Plug it in. And I've got the marks right there, as you can see. And I'm going to try that. So I'm going to just lay it down right there. So, and by the way, if you ever do this, so I don't think in the manual process is not to do it, but never saw backwards. Your, your saw will just pop right out. So you kind of always want to push it forward a little bit. So I'm going to lay it in there. I'm going to lay it in there real nice and then I'll push it forward a bit. So here we go. So I got that. So one square cut, I'm going to do that in the next one. I'm just going to try to connect the squares, or connect the lines there, so I'll, I'll pop in another one. Now you're probably wondering, gosh, you know, what is this, some sort of, what kind of crazy gardening show is this that would come on a kind of construction show? See how the four marks there, and we're going to just finish that off because this blade doesn't go all the way through. So let me try that, I'm going to try this side first. So, then, like a, just a nice easy tap, and then voila, here we go. So, there is the square, now I'll throw it on there just for you to take a look, so there it is. So we're going to put that over the top, so voila. And now it gives me a little bit of room to maneuver this way or that way. So there you are. Now later on we're going to build this across. Uh, and I'm going to do that out of wrought iron. And hopefully what, what I have planned is to, to, instead of having something grow up into it, is have something grow in it. So anyway, that is the show for the day. I hope, that got, I hope you got something out of it. And that's my big big, big worry about, about the show. That it was something that you really got something. Again, in the worst case scenario, is the quote of the day. So here it is. Are you ready, Mr. Day? Are you ready? Pins and needles. Pins and needles, he says. Okay. Quote for the day, never be bullied into silence. Never allow yourself to be made a victim. Accept no one's definition of your life. Define yourself. Thank you, Harvey Fierstein. That's the show for the day. I hope you enjoy. Live your passion.